Oh my gosh, hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a little vlog style thing here. Uh, I am actually supposed to be doing sprit Twitter sprints right now, and I am doing them, and I'm supposed to be reading, but I just decided to film a vlog because I need to film and edit something. So, uh, I guess I will go over what I am reading. I already finished Volume 2 of Golden Kamui. I'm doing this kind of late. It's like 9 o'clock. I am a late person. <laughs> so I finished Golden Kamui Volume 2, and now I am working on a brand new manga that I just picked up, Volume 2 of Beastars. Yay! I'm so happy I got this. I got this today, so I'm about halfway through it now, and I'm gonna read some, as I was supposed to be reading for this video. And I wasn't, so let's just read. <laughs> And that's the end of the Twitter sprint. So that was freaking awesome. I'm loving this so far. I really like the deer character. I really, really like him a lot. Louis, I like him a lot. He's very interesting and he has a very complex personality. He's definitely mad that he is a herb herbivore and he doesn't really want that. He wants you know, he wants the recognitions that carnivores get, and he pushes himself so hard. So I really respect him, honestly, even though he's a little dumb in this in this volume, but I really like him. I'm loving this. I'm loving this a lot. Yeah, that's my thoughts on Beastars for now. Let's do this Twitter sprint that I was supposed to end, like, two minutes ago. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Working hard! So this is gonna be a lot my last update for tonight, because... The first day of the marathon's almost over, 
Um, but basically, I read volume two of B Stars. Very, very happy and happy. I'm tired, <laughs> apparently. I'm happy I read it. Excited. This was really good. I am looking forward to reading more. And then I also started reading Liberty Liberty by Hinako Takanaga. And I'm enjoying it so far. It's interesting. It's it's kind of cute. It has kind of a formulaic love story a little bit. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. But it's it's all right. It's not the greatest, but I really loved this. So yeah, highly recommend that one. That's gonna do it for day one. So stay tuned for more little updates throughout the week, the weekend. I am so tired. Okay, yeah. Good luck. Have fun. Good night, and stuff. I am not good at transitions. So I was going to film this tomorrow, but I'm not able to sleep right now because <laughs> I'm just reading. I finally finished, or I finished Liberty Liberty by Hinako Takanaga, and I enjoyed it. I will definitely give you my full thoughts in my wrap-up, but for now I'll just say that it was fine. It was okay. But what I really wanted to do in this video was actually, like, show you what I'm gonna read next. And also read you a little bit, because I haven't even started it, but in the first page there is a little, like, taster of the story, like a teaser. So I'm reading Same Cell Organism. It's kind of, this is without the dust jacket, so it's kind of hard to see. But when you open up the book, right in the beginning, like, not even when the story starts, there's a, a page right here where they describe their love for each other, and I just want to read it because it kind of makes me want to cry <laughs> a little bit. You and I are alike, it seems. Not in appearance, personality, or anything like that. We weren't even raised in the same type of environment for our life of 16 years. I don't quite know how to say it, but we're probably alike in the passionate way we feel about each other. That is why we fell in love. I with you, and you with me. <sighs> so that's how Same Cell Organism starts. That is the beginning of chapter one, and I am... <sighs> Sumomo Yumika is just one of the best BL manga artists out there, and I'm so sad we don't have more of her stuff in English, because we should, because amazing. I, I just, amazing. I'm already stunned and I haven't started yet. <laughs> That's how good she is. I just, uh, I want to cry. I really want to cry. So I'm going to read a little bit and uh, I will let you know how far I get because I might, I might start bawling. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, they play baseball. Oh my god, they play baseball. I'm in love. I'm in love and I just started it. Okay, just needed to make that comment because, oh my god. <laughs> So it's day two of the readathon, and I am really excited. I'm kind of late because I could not sleep last night, and I woke up late. And uh, so everyone else has started reading, and I'm just like waking up because that's just how my life is. So we're going to read Same Cell Organism today. I'm going to finish reading this, and I'm going to work on my TBR some more. I read three books yesterday, which is really good, so I'm hoping I can read at least four or five today. <laughs> I'm just gonna go crazy today. So let's read some more of one of my favorite BL titles right now. It's so good. Can't wait to get into this.
So I'm about halfway through Same Cell Organism, and I just want to talk about it for a second because there is a story that I'm reading currently, I'm halfway through, that is honestly just giving me the feels, and I need to discuss it a little bit. So this story is called To Make an Angel, and basically it's about this uh, male-to-female transgender girl who is living with her parents, and they don't accept her. She has nobody, literally nobody that loves her and accepts her. She runs away, and she meets this angel. And this angel is the most accepting sweet boy and I feel like I'm gonna cry when I finish reading this but do you understand why I love Sumamo Yumika because oh my god she is a queen and she is so powerful like this this manga just has so many lines that are just beautiful she's honestly like Fumi Yoshinaga to me like she is the queen of BL in my mind. <laughs> Besides Fumi Yoshinaga, of course. But like, girl. I love this so much. <laughs> Alright, let's read some more. Okay, I'm on the last chapter now of this manga, and I'm just... The feels are getting me right now. It's just... It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. So... Uh, I... I need something happy after this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't find my glasses. <laughs> they were right where I left them. So it is the final day for the Mangatam Readathon, and I have just finished. Where'd it go? I have just finished my fifth read. I've finished uh, the Ancient Maggot's Bride, and I I enjoyed it. Um, it was interesting, and I really like the world that they created, that uh, Kori Yamazaki created in this world. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up, but. It wasn't my absolute favorite, so we'll see what happens. You know what, next I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, uh, different from my TBR because I need to read a horror manga. And technically I'm almost done reading this, but I'm gonna read Tomie. I'm gonna finish reading it. I only have like maybe a volume left. So I'm not sure if I'll count it for the readathon or not, but I'm gonna read it because I, I wanna read it. I've been slowly reading this book for like the past couple weeks. So it's a chunker and I'm gonna get... So let me know what you guys are reading down in the comments below, what you have read for the readathon, I guess, because this will probably go up tomorrow. But yeah, what did you enjoy in the readathon? I've been enjoying my reads so far. I've only had a couple that were, you know, decent. They weren't the greatest. So I'll talk about that again in my wrap up, but let's get into Tomie by Junji Ito.
this chapter, oh my god, it is probably the goriest chapter. I'm really glad that I showed you a little bit of it. That was, that was smart of me. Mm-hmm. Wow, I picked the right chapter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay then. Junji Ito, you, uh, <laughs> my god. <laughs> So I forgot to film the last part of my vlog yesterday, so I'm just going to go through this kind of fast. Uh, I ended up reading the rest of Tomie last night, the last thing I read for the Mangatum Readathon, and it was a trip. I have a lot of thoughts on this, and I will discuss them in my wrap-up video, but I will just say that it disturbed me to no end, and it was probably one of the best horror manga I ever read. I, I have very conflicting thoughts on this. I have very conflicting thoughts that I will discuss. But that is the end of the Mangatum Readathon. Thank you so much for anyone who participated. You guys were awesome. I saw all your hashtags, all your tweets, and all your Instagram posts. They were amazing, and they made me so happy. Me and Melissa so happy. So thank you for joining us. We can't wait to do it next year. And yeah, thank you again. I'm just going to say that a million times because it was a lot of fun. So yeah, hope to see you guys next year. And remember, please, for the love of all that is gay, stay sexy.